Welcome aspiring ICC classroom geography students. In this video, we will dive deep into the intricacies of 2024 specimen question paper for topography, providing comprehensive answers and valuable insights to help you excel in your upcoming examination. Let's unravel the mysteries of the topography together. Welcome once again. This is a set of question coming under topography session given by the council this year. There are five questions carrying two mark each, which means a total of 10 mark. The survey of India map sheet given for this question paper is G43 S7. You will get a full size A3 size topographical map which also contains all the marginal information like scale, converse science symbols and other information related to the topographical map. So this is the region that is, that is based on this question paper. Now let's start with the first question. First question A. Give the six figure good reference of spot height 201 in the eastern part of the map extract. Whenever you get a question, make sure you read it two or three times. Give the six figure good reference of spot height 201 in the eastern part of the map. There can be two 201s. So you should be very specific while looking at the map. You need to look to the eastern part of the map. Let's have a look at the map. This is the map and first task is to find the location of the spot height 201 in the eastern part of the map and it comes here. The question is to find the six figure grid reference. So we don't need the whole region, what we need is this particular grid square with its easting and northing value. So this is a grid square, easting is 31 and 32, sorry 30 and 31. Nothing is between 7 and 0, 8. First of all, we will write the fourth figure grid reference for the whole grid by leaving a space in between to write the secondary easting and northing. That's how we do this without making much mistake. So the easting that will be chosen is the one on the left side and the northing to be chosen is the one at the bottom. So the fourth figure grid reference for this grid square will be 3, 0, 0, 7. We will leave a space in between to write the secondary values. Now let's take the secondary easting. The spot is coming exactly on the first line itself and when it comes to the northing value it comes in the fourth line. So the sixth figure reference for the spot height will be 301074. Let's move to the next question. Second question is, what are the brown patches in the northeast quarter of the map extract? Again, we have to be very careful with the region northeast quarter. It should not be southeast or southwest or any other. We have to look into the northeast quarter. Again, we have the map. Let's divide this into four quarters. Map can be divided into four quarters like this. Northwest, northeast, southeast and southwest. And as per the question, we are supposed to look to the northeastern quarter of the map. So this is the region. First is to identify the brown patches in the northeast map. So you can see few brown patches spread here and there. Let's try to identify this with the help of the conventional signs and symbols. Brown features are usually sandy features, and there are three different types of sand features: a flat sand area, then there are permanent sand hills, and there are shifting sand dunes. And the things which are given here in our topographic region is the second one that is sand dune sand hills permanent so the answer for the question is sand hills permanent next question that's question number two mohan goes on a bicycle from 0 to northing to 12 northing in a straight line i'm going to stress on that sentence one more time mohan goes on a bicycle from 0 to northing to 12 northing in a straight line if he moves at a speed of 10 km per hour how much time will he take to reach his destination? I personally found this question as incorrect. The reason why I am saying it is incorrect is the term straight line. So 0, 2 and 12 are two northings. They are parallel to each other. And mathematically speaking, there can be n number of straight lines between two parallel lines. Say for example, this pink line is a straight line. Keep in mind, straight means 
moving in a straight direction. So it can be in any orientation, but line is straight. This is also a straight line. This is also a straight line. And this white, even this one is also a straight line. Then what is not a straight line? Something which is not straight is a curved line like this. So according to the question, there can be n number of lines, straight lines, on between 0, 2 and 12. And Mohan can choose any one of this. It is not specified here in the question. I guess it's a mistake happened while preparing the question. The person who prepared the question was supposed to ask that the Mohan is traveling in a straight line to north direction or along a, along an easting or something like that. So that there is only one route. But since it is simply straight line, there can be n number of routes. Therefore, in my personal opinion, this question need to be corrected. But for the sake of doing this, let's imagine Mohan is traveling along in, along an easting from 0 to 2, 0 to 12 north in. He is traveling along an easting, which means Mohan is traveling in a north direction, just like the white line. Then let's try to find out the answer. Mohan has traveled from 0 to 2 to 12. Let which is traveling is 10 km per hour. The question is, how much time will he take to reach his destination? Now let's take the scenario. This is the direction in which Mohan is traveling from 0 to 12. Let's enlarge it. Now, we know that the distance between two nearby north things is 1 km, the actual distance. And Mohan is traveling from 0 to 2 to 12, which means he is traveling 10 km. Total distance traveled by Mohan will be 10 km. Now, what is given in the question? It is given that the speed Mohan covers 10 km per hour. So here Mohan is traveling 10 km and the speed is 10 km per hour. So total distance covered is 10 km, speed is 10 km per hour. So the answer is 1 hour time. Mohan take 1 hour time to cover this distance from 0 to 12 north. Next question, what is the compass direction of Rampura to Kota? Here, the four figure reference of both the places are given. In such situation, when the four figure reference are given, we don't really need the map because we know the four figure grid reference. What we just need is the grid squares. Rampura is located in 2709. Kota is located in 3005. Now, question is the direction of Rampura to Kota. So, from Rampura to Kota, what is the direction? So, what we have to do is, let's imagine that we are standing in Rampura and looking to Kota. So, simply place a compass on Rampura and now see the direction in which the Kota is located. So, the answer for this question is Southeast. Kota is in the Southeast direction from Rampura. Second part of the question. What is the nature of streams seen in the map extract? That means we have to cover the entire map extract and see the state of rivers. If you see this map extract, we can see both blue lines as well as black lines. Black irregular lines indicate seasonal streams or dry streams and the blue ones are perennial. But if you take the Sipu river, it's not a perennial stream. It's actually a dry stream with a perennial water channel in the middle. Even the main tributary of Sipu river is also a dry stream with a perennial water channel. So what we can write is that most of the streams are seasonal in nature, which are drawn in black lines, except the Sipu Nadi and its main tributary. Both of them are dry river or a seasonal river with perennial water channel. Let's move on to the next question. Ramesh returned to his native place, Ahudi Mopi after a gap of 10 years and was happy to see development around his village. What occurred did you show that the area around his village or village has developed? Here the question is very simple. We need to identify the location of this village and need to look for the developments that probably happened in the last 10 years. Let's locate the village. Mahudi Moti is located here right in the middle of the circle and approximately one kilometer around this can be coming in can be taken as region under Mahodimut. Now let's see what are the development happened here 
in the last 10 years. The probable answers are the development of the main road. That is a possible thing. Second thing, on either side of the road, we can see power lines. Both pylon surveyed and uh, unsurveyed power lines here. Then other possible facilities which might have developed recently includes the sluice uh, near the dam to lift the water. Actually, there's a gate that allows the water to flow through uh, a channel and the channel is there. It's a canal and somewhere there down you can see an aqueduct also. And there are two, three covered tanks that have come up in and around Mahodi Modi. These are all the possible development that might have happened in the last 10 years. Next question, what is the black vertical line made between Eastings 2, 5 and 2, 6? Black vertical lines on top of graphical map. All of you might have got the answer. At the so these are the two Eastings 25 and 26 and the black line in between is given there. The map here you can see the black line and something is written on the top. What is written is 17 minutes 30 seconds. We already know that black vertical lines are longitudes and the answer is longitude. The fifth question and the final question. Men mention two man-made and two natural features in grid square 2508. 2508 is located. This is 2508. With the help of conventional science and symbols, we can easily identify man made features as well as natural features. Minimum number of features need to be written as 2 each, 2 human made as well as 2 natural features. Human made features include perineal line level. You can see a number of blue circles there indicating perineal line levels. Then there is permanent hut. The red squares are permanent hut. There are cover tanks. Two cover tanks are visible next to the name cover tank. That is also within the grid square. Then there is a temple. All these things are example for human made features. You can write any two. And natural features includes seasonal stream, two seasonal streams in the grid square. Then there is sand hill, permanent sand hill towards the north western part of this grid square. Then there is broken ground in the southeastern part of this grid square. Any two can be written. So that's it. This is the answer for the fifth question. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in another video.